Hello everyone, my name is Arohi and in my today's video, I'll show you how to create, manipulate and visualize tensors. So guys, in my first lecture, I have already explained you how to create a separate environment and then how to activate the environment and I have told you that we are going to work on Jupyter Notebook. So we installed Jupyter Notebook as well, right? So today we will activate that environment and then using the Jupyter Notebook, we will create and then manipulate and then visualize the tensors. Okay, so let's start. So we are starting with opening the command prompt and then enter the drive where your uh, environment is which you have installed uh, using the previous lecture. Okay, so in my case, I have a PyTorch for deep learning folder. So enter in that. Here is my environment and using this line, I am activating it. Now you can see the environment is activated, okay? Now let's open the Jupyter Notebook and how we do that? We write Jupyter space Notebook and then hit enter. Then browser will open and your Jupyter Notebook will be opened there, okay? So, so this is how you can see. So this is my Jupyter Notebook and my today's code is in this folder. So I'm opening that. And, and the link of this Jupyter Notebook is given in description section. The GitHub link is given. From there, you can get this file. The file name is create, manipulate, visualize tensors. Okay, so let's open it. So guys, uh, there are uh, tensors are of different types like 1D tensor, 2D tensors, 3D tensors, 4D, 5D tensors. Okay, so uh, Today we will see how to create 1D, 2D and 3D tensors, how to manipulate them and how to visualize them. So let's start with a 1D tensor. Here you can see we are importing a torch because uh, we are doing tutorial on PyTorch. So torch module is required. So we imported it. And then in this variable, I have a simple list. Here you can see that this is a simple Python list with some random data. Okay. Now I want to create a 1D tensor. Now what will I do? I will use this torch dot tensor and I will pass the data which is there in this variable. So what is there in this variable? This list. So we are passing that data over here and the data type we are saying is flow 32. So now if you want to print it, you can print and you can see. You can see this. This is a tensor now and this is the data of that tensor. So this is what this is how you can create a 1D tensor. Okay, one dimensional tensor. Now let's try to uh, manipulate the tensor. Okay, so what I'm doing is what I'm writing tensor in this asterisk asterisk two. What it means is that square each element of the tensor. So means square this, square this, and square three, four, and five. Okay, so this we have done, and then we are printing. And now you can see we are getting a squared tensor. So instead of this. Uh, just a minute let me just print it so the original tensor is this and the output tensor is this so the square of 2 is 4 we have square of 3 is 9 we have so this is how you can see for other items also elements of the tensor okay so this is how you create a 1d tensor now let's see how to work with 2d tensor so guys when we work with 2d tensor you can see that inside this square bracket we have this data then we have another square bracket and then we have another square bracket but all these square brackets are enclosed in another square bracket which is this so this is how you uh, create a 2d tensor this is how you provide the data to torch to make it a 2d tensor okay and then we are using a torch dot tensor and we are providing this data to torch and then here you can see this is a tensor now right so this kind of output you will get so this is a 2d tensor so guys remember from my previous class i've told you that 1d tensor is like a single line 2d tensor is like a table where we have rows and column okay and then now let's say you want to manipulate this tensor so how we'll do that so this time, let's say we want to multiply all the items elements with two means one into two, two into two, three into two like this. Now, and you can see here the manipulated tensor here. So this is the original tensor. 
now you can see after multiplying it with 2 we are getting these values so this is how you create and manipulate a 2d tensor now let's say if you want to visualize this 2d tensor so for that visualizing uh, the tensors we are using a matplotlib library so i am show tensor what is there in tensor this is there in tensor 2d tensor and then c map color map means so this is the color map i want to use and then title and the color bar and the show you will get this kind of output right this is a 2d tensor and you can see we have row, rows and columns and this one color means uh, the one value okay so we are using the matplotlib.pyplot.im show to uh, create a simple heat map and the cmap parameter specifies here okay so this is a color map to use so the values in the tensor are mapped to colors uh, according to the color map so this is how you can visualize this 2d tensor all right now let's talk about the 3d tensor now in 3d tensor guess here you will see we have one outer square bracket and then we have another square bracket and inside that you'll see that we have one element second and then the third right so you'll see that uh, how you will know that this is a that uh, this will become a, a 3d tensor or a 2d tensor it it from these square brackets you can see it from these square brackets this is how we declared the data for 2d tensor right one outer bracket and then we have inner brackets square brackets and in that we have the data okay and in 1D tensor, we only have one square bracket and in that we have data, okay? So whenever you want to create 1D data, you will write like this. Whenever you want to create 2D data, you will take care of the square brackets like this. And whenever you want to create a 3D data, then you are going to have these many square brackets, two square brackets. And inside that you will have the square brackets with the elements in it, okay? and uh, the same way the way to create a tensor is same the only thing is how you are providing the data okay so here you can see this is a 3d data okay let me execute this cell also so this is what we have in a 3d tensor okay values and then now let's manipulate the 3d tensor so again, let's say you want to multiply all the elements by two, then you can like write like this and then enter. You will see the values over here. So all the elements of all the matrices will get multiplied by two. Okay. So this is how you write 3D data. So now let's say if you want to uh, work with image, right? So because you can have any kind of data, you can have data in text format you can have data in uh, image format so uh, now we will see how we convert the image into tensor because whenever you want to provide uh, data to torch any of the model which is you know developed using torch then you always need to convert your input into tensor then only your algorithm will accept that data okay so now let's see how we work with image how we convert image into a tensor so for that okay these are the libraries right now this time we have imported one and other library this pil python imaging library and this is the image on which i want to work and i have this image in our current working directory this here you can see this is the image okay and this is the code which i'm showing you now I'm opening the image in PIL. How we open the image? We write image dot open and then give the image path. So guys, my image is in current working directory. So I have uh, directly given the file name. So if your image is in another subfolder, you will write a path like that. Okay, you will provide a proper path. And then we are showing the original image. Here we are seeing the original image first. So this is the original image. All right now we will convert this image into a tensor and we will view that image as well okay so here you can see transforms dot tensor now what this transform is you'll see from torch vision we have imported this transforms this transform is responsible for converting the pil image into a tensor okay so that's what we are doing to tensor 
so we have called this function in this variable and in next line we are calling that variable and we are providing the image uh, the image which we want to convert it into tensor so our image is in image variable and using we are con want to convert it into tensor so that's why we wrote like this and now our image which is in tensor format is stored in this and here guys here uh, you'll see one thing tensor image and then i'm using permute and then one two and zero why we wrote like this pytorch except first it wants the channels and then height and width of the image pytorch and in this pil library how it works it height and width of the image first and then the number of channel which is three in this case three means the rgb image okay all the color images have three channels rgb okay so in pytorch we write that three at the beginning the number of channel and then height width of the image but in pil we write height and width of the image first then we write number of channels so this permute will handle that thing okay the channel order and then we are plotting the tensor here you can see the tensor version okay because so the image is same the the simple th the the important thing to note over here is that the over here this image is not a tensor but over here this image is a uh, a tensor and we are showing that okay here what we are doing is this is a, another image we are opening that image and then we are converting that image into a tensor here okay and then we are displaying the tensor values okay now what are these values so guys till now what we have seen we just saw the image okay now let's see what are the different pixel values are there in this image okay images are made up of pixels right so every pixel will have a different value that is the color intensity okay so now let's see what are the different values are there pixel values so for that you just need to do this we are not displaying the image okay we are just printing the tensor image and you will see the different values over here this value this value and this value okay so these are the different values these are the normalized values between 0 to 1 okay now let's say is you want to see what is there at this location so this is the value now what we are saying that output tensor this 0 0.1804 uh, tells the, that the pixel value at the first channel first row and the first column of your image is this so this tensor image 0 0 0 and the output is this 0 0.1804 so what it means is this means that the red channel value at the top left corner of your image is approximately this right and 100 zero zero means the uh, uh, this simply means the green channel value okay at the same location which is approximately this and this is the blue channel value so we have three channels right r g b so this one is the this zero means first channel which is red and this is green channel and this is blue channel so these are the three different values of those three channels okay at the same location now uh, basically what it tells it tells the pixel intensity okay and together these three values define the color of the pixel in terms of it rgb components the overall color of the pixel is a combination of the these three intensities so now let's say you have a 2d image now guys what are 2d images 2d images means the grayscale images where the channel uh there is only one channel right because those are not colored images colored images have three channels r g b but if you have grayscale images then you will have only one channel okay so we call them 2d images so how to work with 2d images now we are reading this gray dot jpg file let me show you this image also so i'm talking about this image so this is a grayscale image we are reading that image using the pil first and then we are displaying the actual image okay this is how you display the actual image now we will convert that image into a tensor and we will display it as we have done in that uh, 3d uh, three channel image colored image so 
using that transform we are calling the two tensor method and then we are in this using this image transform on the grayscale image and then we are displaying that image and guys here you will see that this time we are not using the permute to shift the channel because this time we don't have the colored channels we don't have those channels we only have the height and width of the image okay so we displayed the image so this is the tensor version of that image okay and you can see this th these are the different values pixel values this time and guys you can see the values are same why the values are same because we have only two colors black and white so the over here it is all black and here black in the center pixels we have white right so that's why the values are same these are all are uh, uh, black pixels right so uh, guys uh, if you want to see the value you can see the value like this and guys you can uh, see zero 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 this is a red channel green channel and blue channel guys one thing to remember over here that uh, so guys in PyTorch when you have a 2D image also and when you convert that 2D image into a tensor you will the PyTorch will convert in, into a 3D tensor only okay and uh, why it does that because uh, just to maintain the consistency in handling various types of images okay so the color will be that will be a grayscale image only but um, it's still converted into a 3d tensor okay although this grayscale image doesn't have multiple color channel part or just represent it as a 3d tensor for consistency in handling various types of images okay and uh, guys this grayscale images have told you like the single channel there is only single channel and that single channel represents the intensity of the grayscale values okay so over here you can see 0 0.39 0 0.39 so this is the intensity of grays these are the um, different intensity values these are the different intensities of the grayscale values okay now uh, if we are accessing this tensor image zero it will give you a 2d tensor only you can see this is also giving you the same value channel one is also giving you the same value this channel number three is also giving you the same value you can see one two and three all the channels are giving you three value but why we have 3d three channels because uh, this pytorch converted it into a 3d tensor okay for uh, handling various types of images okay so now you can see I hope I hope uh, this is clear right so yeah guys this is how you can work with 1d 2d and 3d tensors and uh, as I've told you this link of this code is given in description uh, this um, github link is given you can uh, try this code okay thank you for watching